Hey guys and welcome at this series about Sitecore Basics. In this video we are going to set up a simple content test on a page. To set up a content test is the best way to open the experience editor and from here we are going to set a content test on this component. It's a promo component, um, a default one of SXA. And when you have selected like I did here, uh, you will notice the little icon, the test the component icon in the component toolbox. So click it and in here you can see the original version with the original content and you can add a new variation. Uh, let's call it uh, variant B and I am going to select new content. So I have uh, already a promo personalized item here which I used in my last video. Uh, but this is the content that I want to test against. So I'm clicking OK. And now I have a simple content test. So I'm going to save the page. The test is set up, but um, when I publish the page, it will not automatically run. And after you save the page, you will get this notification that new components has been added to this page. Well, not new components, but uh, new uh, content basically. And you need to create a test. And this is the way in older versions of Sitecore um, to activate a content test. In newer versions, this will be slightly different. Um, for now, this is the way to go. So click create a test. And here you are going to uh, set up your content test. So you get a nice preview of the different content items um, and you can set uh, your expected effect of the change. So no significant change or a drop negative change, no significant change at all, or a positive change. So I will leave it as default. Um, and in variables, you can configure which variables you want to include in the test. So if you have multiple components with multiple content tests, you will see them here listed and you can select which one you want to include in your test. Um, and you can also configure the percentage of the visitors that is exposed to the test. Um, and a confidence level. Uh, last thing that you can configure is the test objective. So there are some default ones, uh, some goals, uh, trailing value slash visit. Um, it's something that you can figure out for yourself. Um, and you have the option to configure how a winner is picked. You can select it manually. You can automatically select the winner based on a test objective. Um, and you can automatically select uh, one on the test objective, but the difference here is unless it is significantly decreases engagement value. Um, and again, and uh, you can also set the duration, how long should it run minimum and maximum. Um, and above you will see that it requires 4,362 visitors to find the winner. Um, and there is not enough historical data to provide a forecasting on the duration. Uh, this is my local environment, which has no visitors at all. So this is logic. But the cool thing is that Sitecore is helping you out to determine how long it should be run. So after you configured all the variables like you uh, need them, you can select the start test button and your test is activated. And from here you can um, um, publish your page. Now on the optimization test, uh, tab you will see the active tests it's set to one now so that means that someone is something is, is running and after you've published the page and uh, refresh it in the experience editor you will see a red dot here please bear in mind that if you publish the page your workflow should support publishing the tests as well there are some workflows where this step is lacking is missing and then your Content test is not published, um, so please be aware of that and check your workflow or your development team if you want to be sure.